Oh, you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Yes, it's that time of the day. It's that time of the week. We're going to do a painting. We're going to do a, a cold painting. But this one is going to be a, a warm, snowy painting. I know it doesn't make sense, but just trust me, magic will happen on this canvas. This canvas has been coated in liquid white, so it makes the canvas nice and slick. And we're hitting that on a one inch uh, paintbrush with a bit of cadmium yellow. And I'm just going to paint a nice ovaly egg shape right there above, above the, um, what they call it, horizon line. And then without cleaning the brush, we're going to hit some of the yellow ochre, which is a lovely golden colour. And now all we're going to do is blend these two together. We've got, when we look at the winter scenes, the snowy scenes, they can be quite distasteful of that cold. Sometimes they're all right, but sometimes they can be quite too cold to look at. On this one, we're going to have a nice hot snowy scene, if you know what that means. We're going to paint some trees and we're going to paint a little bit of a snowy path, snowy lane, Santa Claus's lane. <laughs> right down Santa Claus Lane or whatever it is <laughs> so this we've added a little bit of crimson just a touch not much we don't want to set the sky on fire remember it's still winter time and all we're doing is wisping in a nice little sky that's it and towards the edge here now a bit of the bright red now this will eat your sky up it's a very very hot colour and very very um it, it's, it's pigment is very strong it's very strong so you only need the tiniest tiniest little touch of, uh, of the bright red but other than that we're doing good and right up here a bit more of the crimson a bit more of the red and still all on the mucky old one inch brush that's it just like that we've got a nice opening there right in the middle that's where his bright spot's going to be that's where as eye is going to be drawn in just like that we'll just fill the sky up like so we're not gonna we're not gonna work ourselves to death on this sky there we go a little bit too much paint there we'll just blend him out that's all we need to do so are we ready not far away now the big man <laughs> oh, 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 oh i'm so excited well that's not a christmas song is it <laughs> So let's get on with it. Dry brush, starting in the white spot. The, remember the liquid white is right in the very middle. And we're gonna start off with that light spot and we're gonna blend outwards. All we're doing is blending out and we're just gonna bring all these colors together. So you can't, you can't tell where one color starts and the other color stops. It's just gonna be a nice blended out sky. Just like that. And we keep working outwards. No, nope. don't go back into the middle. You'll take all that mucky colour right back into the middle and uh, well, it won't look right. You'll be cross. You'll be cross with me and that's the last thing I want you to do. So just blend. This is the nice soft brush I have. Just a <laughs> painting brush I have. Just like that. Now, that's all we're going to do for the sky. Now forgive the arm, like I said many, many times, it gets in the way, but trust me, on the script liner brush, we have got a little tiny touch of a crimson mixed with brown paint, mixed with a, a nice amount of uh, paint thinner, makes it nice and thin, and we're going to create some little tree trunks way back here, just way back in this Santa Claus lane, just like that. And we just flick them up. I I prefer to start at the base of a tree or, or the base of a branch and just lift upwards. Now you can't really tell what I'm doing, but I am doing it. Trust me. You've got to trust me. Let's fetch one down. Fetch one down. And it's your preference at the end of the day. Whatever you want to do, it's your preference. Whether you want to lift up these little sticks or if you want to pull down practice practice get an old canvas and practice and see which works well for you and if it works well for you that's the right way that's the right way now we could put lots and lots and lots of these in in fact we might do we might just do that 
just keep adding a few more again forgive the old arm right across that bright spot there just wobble them in now if you've got wobbly arms this works well let's pull one down again just like that and if it gets a little bit faint on your on your paintbrush that's that's okay It'll give a different value, so a different colour of a tree trunk. And it makes it look, it makes it look like it was meant to happen. There, we've got some. Happy days, eh? Happy days. Happy days at that. Now, let's try and squeeze another couple more in here. Bit of a darker one. So I've added a little bit more of the brown paint to this. And what that will do is push the lighter trees back into the painting. Just like that. And we'll keep going, we'll keep going, keep adding more. I think we're walking down a little woody scene here, so... So, if all turns out right, these nice little... These little tree trunks... I'll be like walking through a... a a cold, woody, woody scene. And you may have already seen this painting already. It did sneak into one of my other little videos that I did. See if you can guess which one. <laughs> Happy days. Right, so we're creating a nice, nice few little twigs, sticks, brambles, foliage, whatever they are. Nice big wobbly one there. <laughs> you gotta make the noises. Yep, you gotta make them noises or it do not work. Well, it probably will work, but it's better to make noises, I think. Funny noises. <laughs> right, this is the tedious part. I'm gonna have to stop and have a nice brew. In my Master Temple, Master Temple Treasures mug that the kind Caledonian coins got me. Right, with a bit of white paint, and all it is is the white paint on a fan brush, we're just going to touch here and there, and there and here, some little foliage things that are catching the sparkle of the sun right far back. And we don't want many, just enough to give a slight indication that there's something happening back here, something where the old Robin's going to have to sit down and, 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 and nest for the winter. The old squirrel hibernates up here as well, I think. I don't know, do they hibernate? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't think they do. So, touch of white paint, fan brush, foliage. And then just like, just like that, we've created all sorts of nice little leafy things. There we go. And we can progressively work out and that white paint We'll mix with the paint that we've already put down. A hey, presto gets darker towards the edges. There we go. Just tapping. Not, don't let the paintbrush slide on this one. We've slid the paintbrush across across the canvas as we've put the sky in, and as we've done the the tree trunks with the with the thin colour paint, with the thin paint. But with this uh, with these white parts, all we're doing is tapping basically tapping the canvas down here as well just a light impression of some snow down on the floor there we go there we go and that will continuously blend the more you tap the more it will blend with that colour that we've, we've already put down such a warm scene this I get quite excited at doing these kind of scenes because like I've said before when you look at a blue colour painting although it is nice it can be quite ah, need to put my coat on to look at it so with this one it's a nice warm scene right down at the bottom on a little tiny half inch brush or is it quarter inch this one quarter inch paint brush something that you paint your radiators with we're just putting in a little bit of shrubs down at the bottom. Some brambles or whatever that live down the base of these tree trunks. And this is made just with a nice 
browny colour. Now, I made this brown colour using alizarin crimson and sap green in about equal proportions and mixed them up prior to making the video. It gives a nice, warm, chocolatey colour. And it's, it's some, some folk have called it Christmas brown because it's made with the, the reds and the green colours. And we can alter the value with this by just hitting a bit of black. We want it darker towards us more darker the, as it comes towards us, as the, as the painting comes towards us, and lighter as it goes away, and that will give the impression of, of distance and depth. So there we go. If I can show you, we're just giving it a light little push up. We're not, again, we're not allowing that brush to slide, we just touch and little push up, like a little tiny push, and that will create all sorts of um, twigs and sticks and leafy looking things that live right there in the brush you've just got to you just got to check them out in these cornery parts with that brown paint all we're going to do is just fill in all this uh, all these corners we're not going to see much of this and what we will see it won't be significant if all goes to plan so we'll just wipe off the excess paint tip tapping wiping off just like that there we go, just like that. Right, looks like a lane already, doesn't it? So with some titanium white paint with a touch of liquid white on the same size brush, we're gonna hit these little shrubs with uh, a little bit of highlight color, just so it looks like Jack Frost has come down here and said hello to these, these nice little privets and whatever they are, <laughs> brambles, bushes, down here that live by the side of this little lane. And all we're doing is touching just above the dark area. And again, just a gentle touch. I'm sorry you can't see what I'm doing, but it's, you're going to have to trust me again on this one. That's all we're doing. And it'll look like lace. It really will. It'll give the impression that, that winter has really set in. But because we've got the warm colours in the sky and the browns on the, the, uh, on, the, on the underside of the foliage, it'll create a warmer scene. And we're just working as way forward. We've got a nice little lane there already, haven't we, folks? So, back to the old fan brush with a bit of white paint on. Make sure it's pure white. We don't want, we don't want any of that yellow sky colour in this snow because it's one thing worse than brown snow, and that's, that's yellow snow. <laughs> and we're just going to create like a little, little divot of a lane. So it's got like a shallowed out area in the middle, you know, where people have walked the dogs and, and, and walked through the woods for many, many years. Worn it away, eroded it away. That's the, that's the word I'm trying to use. Eroded it away. So we're trying to, we're basically creating an arc. That's it. And if it catches some of that little brown paint that's in these, in these shrubs just like that, don't worry about that. that. That creates all sorts of shadows. It works for you. It'll create a shadow. And, uh, and that's what we want. We want some some variation in this. Uh, every now and again, we're just going to put a few little sticks in. Could do this at the end, the sticks, but we'll just do a few now while I've got this little script liner brush. We want a place for the old Robin to sit, don't we, his friend Robin? There we go. So again, excuse the old arm, it's in the way. Just like that. There we go. Ah, ah, ah. Create a nice, nice little stick there. That's that's popping out from this little, little brambly bush. Bit of shadow down there, like so. Just like so. Just like that. Right. So big old. This is that brush that I made myself. It's got the, uh, it's got the corners knocked off it, snipped it off. And uh, it's what I did the big foggy painting with a couple of weeks back. All we're doing with some, some light brown paint. So it's that Christmas brown. Touch of white on there. We're just putting some backs of some trees in. So this is going to be the far away part of the tree. And then we'll come back and we'll put, uh, we'll put a trunk in there. And then we'll put some highlights on top of that. Just like so. So from both sides we'll do this. Create all those nice little, little leafy things. Just tapping away, just where where we think these little uh, these 
little trees that live. There we go. Like I've said before, these trees live in your paintbrushes. You've just got to just got to shake them loose sometimes. Down here in the corners, we'll just fill this in as well. There we go. Just like that. No finesse needed here, folks. Just, just a couple of old big brushes, and away we go. Now let's grab some of that paint. So it's titanium white on the fan brush and we can start by creating some more snow that's built up around the foots of these little trees and again once again if it if it if it if it grabs some of that brown paint that that nice chocolatey christmas brown paint don't worry about it it works for you <laughs> cup of tea almost gone need your tea yorkshire tea obviously now I've double loaded this paintbrush, so it's a, it's a rounded paintbrush, about 6 mil in diameter, with dark colour paint, that Christmas brown paint, with a bit of black mixed in there, and then on the one side, it's just got liquid white. So it's double loaded, and I've done this many times, it's kind of a really easy way of making the highlight and the shadow of a tree super quick. Let's work on this one. <laughs> a bit too much liquid white there, but don't worry about that. We can come back in here. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, well, let's <laughs> let's make those noises, folks. Down to the bottom as well. Right down. Wibble wobble. We don't want to make old telegraph posts, do we? Want some character into these trees. Now, if you've got plenty of time, you. You know, I'm a bit pushed for time to do with these, but if you've got plenty of time, you can put all sorts of nice little sticks and highlights and, and shadows and create really fabulous looking trees. Just a bit of time, bit of practice, get used to the equipment and away you go. Let's do some on the other side. Let's put some on the other side. Now, as, as highlights will be on the opposite side of the tree this time, because there's light sources coming direct from the center. So we must, we must replicate that when we're putting the highlights on the tree. There we go. So as we're pulling down, we're just wobbling, like so. Create all sorts of knots and bumps and humps in the back. And again, your trees obviously need to be wider at the base than they do at the top. It, uh, that can distract your eye. Not always, but 99.9% uh, .9 of the time a tree is wider at the base. Or it'll fall over. Needs big feet. These big heavy trees need big feet. Right, let's put another one here. So, mm, just a little bit there. Let's put some more darker colour on top of that. Didn't like that one. There we go. There we go, and you can see every now and again the li liquid white highlight will, will, will shine through, really sparkle for you, it really will, just like that. And we can pull this right in front of the other tree. Happy days, eh? Happy days! Let's put an arm on this one. This big old branch, just in the exact same way. But if you compose a nice picture, you know, have the highlight right in the middle, the, 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 the light spot right in the middle, and we can build everything around that. Everything around that. Let's put another little tree here. Just a tiny one. Don't want to get carried away. Even though this is a forest, we don't, <laughs> we don't want to spend all this time making these trees, do we? Maybe this one fell over. Lost its head sometime. Some time ago, lost its top half. <laughs> that happens. That does happen in nature. A bit more highlight on this one. Down there. And like I've said before, you can spend hours doing this. Tinkering with this. And because it's oil paint, oil paint doesn't dry straight, straight, straight away. Put my teeth back in. Oil paint doesn't dry straight away. It, it can take several days to dry. In fact, some colours don't don't dry for for a couple of months, especially if you put really thick, thick layers of paint on. 
I think it's cadmium, cadmium red that takes about nine months to fully set and dry. But this painting should be about touch dry in about a week. Give or take, give or take. Depending on how warm your house is and things like that. There we go. So now we've got some some limbs there, some, some tree trunks. We could put some sticks on this now, so I think what we'll do, back to the old script liner brush, the, the brush that gets on everybody's nerves, because me using it makes makes my arm go in the way. But I can't help it, folks. If there were another way, I would do it. So let's just put some nice sticks, twigs, arms, limbs, whatever we want to call them on these, these big old tree trunks. And we've got the background material all sorted. We don't have to worry about that. All we're going to do is just put some limbs on these. And we can make them as random as we want. As we know, trees just grow in any way that they, they possibly can. The easiest way for them. The easiest way for them. And if you're having problems here with your paint flowing, add a little bit more paint thinner, only a touch, just a touch. What you don't want to do is have a really thin paint and it start to dribble off your canvas. But you want it thin enough so it slides, it slides over the thicker paint that we've, we've put on. There's a couple of layers of paint already that we've got on there, remember the sky and then we've got the background trees. And, and the other bits and pieces that we put on. So there's a few layers of paint already on there. There we go. And what I'm doing now, you can't really tell, but between the tree trunks, I'm just putting some little sticks. Just like that. Right down Santa Claus Lane. What a song. What's your favorite Christmas song, folks? I haven't asked you that yet, have I? Or have I? I don't think I have. It's always nice to hear people's opinions on Christmas songs because there's so many out there. There's such wonderful songs and then there's, <laughs> there's some that are a little bit suspect. Usually the ones that I start to sing, yeah, you know. <laughs> there we go. Couple more sticks on this side. And it's happy days all round. Happy days all round. There we go. Couple more up here, couple more down there. There. Now, coin collectors, what coinage have you found? Have you found the new diversity coin yet? If you've seen the Tilgrader video, we've found a few, haven't we? We've found a few already, which is quite good, the new coin that's come out. And apparently it's going to be a sought after coin in a few years, so, so yeah, keep them all. Build up your collections. What I'm doing down here is just putting some, some twigs. Remember, it's the woods. So now with that dark colour, that, that chocolatey, Christmassy brown, on this old rounded over brush, we're just going to tap in a few, a few areas here where some some uh, leaves will live. There and here, here and there, wherever we think they should be, that's exactly where they should be. Remember, on this canvas we can do anything we want. We can do anything. Let's put a bit on the other side. Over it comes. So if you see, I'm working in sort of an arc, a big arc. Obviously, I'm putting some some foliage on, so we're hitting where the where the foliage should be. But we're working in basically a big arc, so it encases this light spot. That light spot is what will draw your eye right through the painting, and you'll be able to see for for well, for in this instance, a couple of hundred yards, right into the burning sun. But it works well, this one, if you're doing a really big canvas and you've got something in the distance, such as a big hill or a mountain or a building, let's say. Maybe we'll do that one day. Maybe on the next video, we'll have a building. What about that, eh? There's, not, there's a few buildings around Christmas time, isn't there, that we could paint? So there you go. Keep your eyes peeled for that. 
Christmas Eve, I think, folks. Christmas Eve, we'll have a nice building just for Christmas. There we go. So then we've got the backgrounding materials. Now back to the fan brush with the light paint. And all we're doing is just putting some some highlights on these uh, these little uh, leafy foliagey things. If it gets too dark, you know, if, if your fan brush starts to pick up a little bit of that brown paint, too much of that brown paint, either clean your brush or wipe it on a paper towel and then come back in with a freshly loaded brush and start again. And if you're having problems with the paint, if it's not sticking, if, it, if it's pulling off the, the, the paint that's already on the canvas rather than put, applying it to the canvas, what you need to do is thin it down somewhat. So either tiniest, tiniest, least little bit of paint thinner or liquid clear. Because remember, Big Bob's golden rule is a thin paint will always stick to a thick paint. But you can't start off with a really thick, uh, really thin paint. So that's why we apply several layers of thick paint. There we go. Titanium white is one of the thickest. It's one of the thickest. That's why it's good for mounting colours. Now we're doing tip tapping. Just there we go. Like that. That's good. Let's work down here now. Let's get down into this corner. So with a loaded fan brush, uh, half inch brush, get me, get me brushes right. Just let's put some lacy looking little, little shrubs here where the snow, where Jack Frost has said hello, down onto these little, uh, these little bushy things round at the feet of these big old trees. There we go. And you can see there, just lifting up. Just touch on, push up, touch on, light push up. So to load this brush, I mean, it's a little bit difficult to see. Um, all I do is pull the brush in one direction towards me and that will create a rounded corner on the brush when it's full of paint, it's slightly rounded. That rounded corner goes to the top of where we want to paint and then we just touch on and push up and you'll get all these lovely lacy little effects. Now this is good for, for highlights when we're doing green paintings, you know, like with foliage, that's greens and stuff. Or like we're doing here with the white paints, but when we're doing the, uh, the winter scene. So this is it, right down Santa Claus Lane. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. Yeah, better than I could sing. <laughs> I've been practicing, folks, I've been practicing. Fan brush, white paint, let's clean up all these feet here. And once again, grab some of that, that bush colour and it makes a lovely little shadow. Maybe the snow is quite thin here and you can see the muck underneath. Maybe you can see the dirt underneath. Couple of little twigs, sticks. See there, it's not sticking properly, so if we had a little bit of paint thinner, we could come back in, and that's it, there we go. So now it slides all over the canvas, just like that. Couple of old sticks here and there. And I think we're nearly got to finish painting, folks. Nearly got a finished painting. Let's just work on this little stick here a little minute, too. And we're about done. So, I do want to thank everybody that's joined me. New subscribers, they're coming in thick and fast, and I absolutely applaud that. I, I'm, I'm well made up with what's happening lately. And if you like this painting, do let me know. Just write a comment in the, in, in the, the comments part and just say, Hey, Dan, I like that one. It's, it's pretty cool. And, uh, and yeah, let, let, let us know. Let us know you like it. It's great stuff. It's great stuff to read all your feedback. It really is. Now, I think we should pull Robin on this little stick. 
He's out here looking for some worms and berries to eat or whatever they eat. So let's put a little robin down here. A little bit of a body, a little bit of a red breast. There we go. A little bit of a red belly here. Little robin red breast. Look at the view he's got. What a view, eh? What a view. So let's sign this little do for you do right down in the bottom corner. I just initial it like I always do. With me initials. My name's quite long, so I won't, won't get into that. So there we go. Happy days, my fantastic friends. If you do like this one, subscribe, like, comment, whatever you want to do. You know what to do, folks. Merry Christmas. And I'll see you all later. Happy days.